Now we can visualize the graph that we saved in Cytoscape. To do that, you have to open your Cytoscape and then go to File, then Import, Network from File, and then that should open uh, our iGraphs folder, or you sh should have to navigate to it. And then the file that we're going to open, it is called graph mRNA with metadata unweighted undirected graph ml. We open it, it takes a while for the file to be loaded. You can immediately see that uh, this file contains 200 nodes and 835 edges, as we already know. There are a few nodes that do not seem to have any connection with anything else and we can remove it. So you need to press control and then um, to select the nodes that you would like to remove and just uh, remove them. So a few here that also disconnected from the rest of the much more connected graph. So in order to uh, visualize the colors in the context of modules, we can go to style, then fill color, then select uh, value. And now here you can see the attributes to our vertices that we have appended. What we want to select is the color variable. And from the mapping type, we would like to select pastel mapping. And once we do that, you can now see um, the borders and also the nodes that belong to a particular uh, local community. So I don't particularly like the fact that our nodes uh, look like uh, mm, squares. Uh, and I would like to change that to ellipse. So from shape, ellipse apply. They're going to become ellipses. And the other thing that I would like to change, at the moment, the size is locked, uh, but by uh, ticking the lock node width and height, we can unlock it. So I would select a size, then of the vertices, then from the column, I would select degree. And from the mapping type, I would select pastel mapping. And now you can see that the size of our nodes are proportional to the degree, so to the number of other nodes that they are interacting with in the network. Our um, network, this particular one, is unweighted, so um, we do not have any additional information about the weights rather than the fact that they are present. So we had the question of how many communities we had and the answer to this question that we have three major communities so we have the red the orange and the yellow uh, another thing that we can see from this graph is um, what are the hub genes in each of our communities so for the red module or cluster this gene kdm4b is our node or hub gene um, <laughs> hub node gene so for the orange community we have zeb1 and then it is followed by snet1 and for the yellow community we have this fly1 um i have already checked uh, whether either of those genes has been associated with breast cancer and all of those are so this is very exciting we just did very simple analysis uh, in r of uh, data that has been uh, collected from patients and we already get information that has been reported in the literature and uh, that is great so we have all of our answer, uh, questions answered um, if you'd like to export this figure uh, you can easily do that by export as either network or 
export as image. Of course, if you want to export it as a network, it's not going to be <laughs> exported as a figure. Uh, but from export as an image, you can uh, decide what type of um, file you uh, would like to save, also the sizes, so on and so forth. And with this, um, this part of the tutorial is going to be uh, completed. So we have generated co-expression um, network of undirected and unweighted type, but we have identified the local communities and the hub genes of those communities. I hope that this whole tutorial was helpful. I have uh, many more additional lines of code uh, that I have provided, and I would likely generate another uh, tutorial where I explain how one can do um, undirected but weighted co-expression network. Okay, thank you, and um, see you in another video. Bye-bye.